Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn about top interview question and answers on JSON. JSON has become a de facto for all communication between server side and backend and as well as the UI integrations. So if you are bound to attend any interview, they will want to understand your, under, your knowledge on JSON. So this tutorial will help you answer all the interview questions that they may ask you on JSON. So follow this tutorial. If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we proceed, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with top interview question and answers on JSON. So the first question that is asked is, what is JSON? What is it used for? So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a data storage and communication format based on key value pair of JavaScript object literals. It is a lightweight text-based open standard design for human readable data interchange. So in JSON, all properties or names are surrounded by double quotes. Values are restricted to simple data, no function calls, no variables, and comments and computations. JSON is used for communication between JavaScript and server-side technologies. How to convert any JavaScript object into a JSON object? So to convert any JavaScript object, we will use json.stringify. That's used for com converting any JavaScript objects into JSON. If you can see here, there is an example I have given. There is an object which says website equal to R tutorials. And when we say json.stringify, it will convert it into JSON object. List types that are natively supported by JSON. So some of the natively supported types by JSON are objects, arrays, primitives like strings, numbers, boolean, and null data types. What does object.create do? Object.create creates a new object with the specified prototype object and its properties. What does ha has own property method do? So has own property method, it returns true if the property was set on an actual object rather than inherited. What does dollar dot JSON parse JSON do? So dollar dot parse JSON takes a well-formed JSON string and returns the resulting JavaScript value. So what are the different types or different ways to create objects? You can create an object by object.literals. You can create using object.create and also using the constructors. What is the default value of a constructor's prototype? A plain empty object that derives from object.prototype is the default value of a constructor's prototype. List some of the benefits of using JSON over XML. So since JSON is text-based, it's much lighter and faster. XML data types is typeless while JSON objects are typed. JSON types are number, array, boolean, and string. XML data are all strings. Data is readily available as JSON object is in your JavaScript. Fetching values is as simple as reading from an object property in your JavaScript code. So that's why JSON is always preferred over XML in modern web applications. So what is the difference between JSON and JSONP? So JSON is a simple data format which is used for communication medium between different systems. JSONP is a methodology for using that format with cross domain AJAX requests. So whenever you're doing a cross domain uh, AJAX calls, you want to use JSONP. JSON who invented JSON or who is the father of JSON 
and what language it is based on. So Douglas Crockford invented is also known as the father of JSON and JSON is based on ECMAScript. What is JSON RPC? List some of the features of JSON RPC Java. So JSON RPC is a simple remote procedure call protocol similar to XML RPC. Although J JSON format is much lightweight than XML. JSON RPC Java is a Java implementation of JSON RPC. Below are some of the features. You can dynamically call server-side Java methods. It's used for asynchronous communications. Transparently maps Java objects to JavaScript objects. And it's lightweight similar to XML RPC and leverages J2E security model with session specific exporting of objects. It's supported by modern browsers like Mozilla, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. All right, so what are the natively supported JSON types? This is again, it can be asked like, what are the different JSON data types? So it can be integer, it can be flow double, it can be string, it can be Boolean, it can be array, it can be objects, and it can be null. Now, similarly, they, they might ask you, what is BSON? So BSON is a superset of JSON, which is used by MongoDB. So BSON supports the embedding of documents and arrays within other documents and arrays. BSON also contains extensions that allow representation of data types that are not part of JSON. So remember, BSON, uh, BSON is the superset of JSON, which is used by MongoDB. How to convert any object into JSON, which is what is the full syntax of JSON.stringify? So JSON.stringify method is used to convert a JavaScript object into JSON. So we can always pass some, create an element and say, let JSON equal to json.stringify pass the values to it. What JavaScript specific properties are skipped by json.stringify method? So following properties are skipped by json.stringify. Function properties, symbolic properties, properties that are stored undefined. So remember these, if you pass any function properties, any symbolic properties, they will be skipped by json dot stringify method. How do you decode a JSON string? So once we have done the JSON dot stringify, you will get a string which you want to parse in JSON. So we can we can reuse something called JSON dot parse method to decode a JSON string into JavaScript object. Now how do you how do you delete an index from JSON object? So de to delete any object, um, an index from JSON object, we will write something like var ex JSON key value, and then we can use delete ex JSON. But remember, we never use delete because that's not a good way to handle. And it's advised never to use delete directly, instead use it through programmatical objects. All right, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial on JSON. I hope you find the questions um, good enough for you to answer in your interviews. But if you have any specific questions, any queries, any doubts, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before leaving, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. I'll see you in the next episode with much more tutorials. Thank you.